Hey man, uh, what's for dinner today? What's for dinner? I made uh, roasted chicken, chicken salad, and chicken noodle soup. Chicken? Oh man, I love chicken. What's up everybody, I'm Zach, I'm Just a Simple Chef, and I wanna say thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out my video. Today, we're gonna to learn how to roast a chicken. Simple, easy, quick, nothing crazy. Just got a young chicken here, we're gonna go ahead and get this prepped and ready to get in the oven. I'm super excited for this. It's super simple, super easy, and super quick. All right, so we're just gonna open up the chicken, pull it out, Rinse it off, take out all the gizzards and put them in a cup on the side. And I like to wash all my poultry and meats just because. Better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to get poultry shears and we're going to spatchcock and trim up this chicken. All right, now that we got the chicken rinsed off, we're going to spatchcock the chicken, which is Pretty much taking out the spine of the chicken and the tail and the neck and flattening out the chicken so that everything and all the meat is all on the same cooking plane so that it all cooks at the same rate, right? Because if you keep the chicken like this, the thighs are hidden, the drums are here, the breasts are here, the wings are here. so. Once you spatchcock it, you'll see how everything will be on the same level. All right, so we're going to take the poultry shears and we're just gonna go down the spine of the chicken, just like that. Now we're gonna go down the other side. Super easy. You could do this with a knife if you don't have poultry shears. We're just gonna cut it up into little pieces and we're going to set these aside because I don't wanna throw anything away because we can use it all. So you're gonna wanna just kinda break the bone here, nothing crazy, and spread out the chicken, just like that, so it's flat. Look how flat the chicken is. All right, so now that we spatchcocked the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and take it a couple more steps further to make this the best and easiest roast chicken you've ever had. All right, so here I'm pulling the membrane from the skin to the chicken meat off the chicken so that the skin is off the meat all the way around we're gonna do the thigh the drum the breast everything and then we're going to salt everything we're gonna salt the outside we're gonna salt the inside and it's going to soak into the meat and have a very juicy piece of chicken so you want to get underneath the skin, you want to get the backside, the underside, just everywhere. All right, so we spatchcocked the chicken. We put our hands underneath the skin and pulled it off of the meat of the chicken so that it's a loose piece of skin. And then we salted it. So we're doing a dry brine. And we salted all the surface area of the chicken and underneath the skin. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for like two hours at least. Overnight is the best, but if you're in a pinch, two hours is fine. And the salt is going to soak into the chicken meat, and then it's also gonna dry out the skin, which will make it nice and crispy when we roast it in the oven. And so we'll be right back after two hours, and then we're gonna season it, get in the oven, and see what the final product looks like. All right, so now that we're waiting for the chicken to kind of just dry and soak up all the salt into the meat in the refrigerator, we're going to use the gizzards and the spine of the chicken, right? I do not like to waste anything. So this right here is not much, but I think it could make about two to four cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. And we're gonna take this a little further and we're gonna make uh, like chicken noodle soup. Super easy, super quick, and it's really good. You know, if you're just a single person or you know, by yourself and you cook a whole chicken, there's, you know, many meals you can make with that one chicken. And so this is gonna be one of them. 
And then I'll show you another one later if you don't want to use the whole roasted chicken for a family dinner and you're just cooking for yourself. All right, so add in the gizzards, add in our water. We're gonna salt it. We're gonna put some black peppercorns, some bay leaves, some crushed garlic, and we're going to get it on the stove. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Now we're going to cut some carrots into medallions. And then we're also going to shave a carrot for the chicken salad. Quick and easy way to make tasty pieces of carrot. So we're gonna cut an onion, we're gonna dice it. Super simple, super easy, boom. Just like that. We're gonna do a big sized onion, just chopped up. We're gonna do some green onions, very fine. Okay, so we got shredded carrots, red onion, green onion, and we got carrots in cut in medallions, and then just diced onions here. So this is gonna be for the chicken noodle soup. And then this, once the chicken's roasted, this will be for chicken salad. All right, so now that we got that boiling and bubbling, we're going to go ahead and get a pot of water on the stove and get that going. And now we're gonna pull the chicken out of the refrigerator and we're going to season it and cover the chicken with seasoning. So we're gonna use mayonnaise because it's pretty much an emulsification of oils and eggs. And a little goes a long way. So we're gonna coat the whole chicken in mayonnaise. I know it's weird, but trust me. So we're going to start with garlic powder. Then we're gonna do onion powder. Then we're gonna do poultry seasoning. And we're just building layers here. After the poultry seasoning, we're gonna do black pepper. Get a good coat all over the chicken. And then we're gonna do smoked paprika. Goes wonderful with chicken. It's amazing. Now we're gonna do that to the front side. Season it up. Good to go. Ready for the oven. Just look at that seasoning. I can't wait till this comes out of the oven. All right, so we seasoned the chicken. We got our chicken broth for our chicken noodle soup on the stove. We got the water going. We're gonna go ahead and get the chicken in the oven at 350 degrees until the internal temperature of the breast is 160. I know 165, right. But because it's such a big piece of meat, it's going to carry over about 10 degrees. Because if you cook to 165, it's gonna be dry. You wanna cook it, cook it to 160, maybe even 155, and just make sure that it stays at that temperature for at least 40 seconds or more. And it'll be cooked all the way through and it'll kill all the pathogens, salmonella, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started and I can't wait for the finished product. All right, so we're going to get this in the oven and then we're gonna season our water since it's starting to boil. And then we're gonna add in our macaroni. Now we're going to strain our chicken broth because it's been boiling for about two hours at a slow simmer and there's a lot of flavor now extracted from the gizzards and the neck and the spine. We're gonna get this back on the stove. We're going to add our carrots, our onions, and we're going to add just a little bit of poultry seasoning to give it that extra chicken flavor. How's it going? I just want to say if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos and follow me every week, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. All right, look at that beautifully oven roasted chicken. So now we're going to just trim this up, get all of its pieces in the right place. So we're gonna do the drums, the wings, the thighs. And look at that, the skin, everything just looks so delicious and juicy. So now we're gonna do the chicken breast. Just gonna find the bone and we're gonna cut down the side, kinda like in my cold ginger chicken video I did. And don't be afraid of butchering it there's the breast, 
Beautiful. Now we're going to take the carcass and just pull apart all the chicken from the carcass into a bowl for our chicken noodle soup. Remember, we don't throw anything away. So take all the pieces off. There's our chicken. It's beautiful. It's golden. It's crispy. We got our spare chicken for our chicken noodles. Just look at that. How can you not love a good oven roasted chicken? So now we're gonna take our chicken scraps, put it in our chicken noodle soup. We're going to add in our noodles that we pre-cooked. And then we're gonna bring it up to a boil, taste it, and adjust the seasoning as necessary. And it's good to go. So now we're going to make the chicken salad. We're gonna remove the skin, cut it into bite-sized diced pieces, probably like uh, maybe a half inch cubes all the way around. Get it into the bowl, super simple, quick and easy. Now we're gonna add our green onions from earlier, our carrots and our red onions. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and a couple scoops of mayonnaise, and that's it. It's super easy. Just gonna mix it up, taste it, and it's good. All right, so here we have the chicken salad from one chicken breast, the rest of the chicken, and then all the wings and um, bone and um, leftover meat is in the chicken noodle soup. So from one chicken, we have chicken salad, chicken thighs, drumsticks and a breast, and chicken noodle soup. So you can make, a um, several meals with just one roasted chicken. All right, so here we have everything. We got the chicken salad, we got the chicken, and we got the chicken noodle soup. So let's go ahead and... Mm, very good. The breast is nice and tender for the chicken salad. It's really tasty. Let's see, this one might be a little bit more. What? Mmm. Tastes like chicken noodle soup. Super simple, super easy. But I just want to say thank you for sticking around. And I post videos every Friday. I hope you really enjoyed this. And I can't wait to make another video for you all. Thank you.